Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can create Azure Web Jobs and deploy a console application to a Azure Web Job. So let's dive in and get started. Before we start, let's quickly understand what is Azure Web Job. Azure Web Job is a feature in the Microsoft that allow you to run background task or schedule job in the same environment as the Azure Web App. These job can be continuous, triggered or scheduled, making them perfect for automation tasks and keeping your application running smoothly. Like I said, in this video, I'm going to create a console application and run that console application as a part of web job. So let's dive in and create one console application. To create a console application, I will First, open my Visual Studio. So select create new project and Let's give the name Azure Web Job Demo. And I'll remove the spaces. And let me choose a new directory here. Oh my code. will be on see my work yeah and click and create one thing i wanted to tell everyone this is i'm just sharing based on what i have learned when i implemented the web job now for this uh, console application i'm trying to keep it simple so I will uh, write a for loop and print hello world, um, let's say five times uh, and uh, then we can deploy this console application as an Azure web job. But I have a new video planned up uh, to use the entity framework where I can demonstrate an end to end uh, integration like a real world application. But for this video, I'm trying to keep it simple. So we'll try for int i equals to zero this is just a for loop i plus plus And I'll print and I'll add the counter. Let's build this console application and run it locally just to make sure that it's working and it's producing the output also guys if you like this video if you find out this content is helpful please comment like and subscribe to my channel i just want to tell you like uh, how I learned the web job um, so we have a requirement where I need to fetch the data and massage the data and send back to the downstream systems and I wanted to uh, create as a background service or you can say like a background job I was trying to do a research uh, like what is the best option that I can go with 
and there are other options available like you can do the similar thing using the azure functions but i prefer to do it by the web job because the my web application is already hosted in an app service and i just wanted to add a new extension which runs which is also part of the same web application but run it on a background so you can see uh, i have this output it means my application is running successfully now the next piece is to deploy this uh, console application in an azure web job to deploy this console application as an azure web job first we need to create an app service so log into your azure portal and click on the app services click on create and create web app select your subscription and resource group the resource group that i'm gonna select is this ng web job demo youtube because all my youtube uh, videos are under this resource group but you can also choose your existing or you can create the new one now just give the name ng azure web demo let's give you tube demo okay and like i said i have choose uh, .NET 4.8 so I need to select I'm selecting the runtime stack as 4.8 I'll keep this default is US here I'll select the Windows plan that I've created and instead of going all these steps I'll simply click on review and create because i wanted to keep everything default for now it will take little bit time so i'll pause this video and resume once the app service is being created you can see the deployment is in progress so this is like deploying all the resources that is required to run an app service so my app service is successfully created just click on this link so that we can make sure that app service is up and running yeah now the next step um, like i mentioned um, before azure web job are part of the same app services so once you scroll down you can see a menu azure web job so for like this is the new app services that we have created so there's no um, web job exists and this is the console application that we have created we'll deploy this as a web job here see currently it is empty and in order to add a new web job uh, for this video i'm demonstrating manual uh, deployment but you can also set up the azure devops pipeline and there are other ways to uh, do the deployment uh, which i can uh, demonstrate in the upcoming videos so that's again one of the reason you can subscribe to my channel if you wanted to know how many types of deployment that you can configure uh, in order to do the deployment in the azure web job for this deployment i'll create first the name demo1 and i can select the files and there are different type of files supported like executable files script files compiled files and zip file for this deployment i am going to use the zip file deployment so what i can do i can copy this and create a zip file first of my console application so i'll navigate to my uh, bin debug folder and then what i can do because i wanted to do the zip deployment so i'll create the zip package for all the files exist under debug folder you can also use the release folder but you have to build your console application in the release mode for now i have only built my console application in the debug mode so all the libraries everything uh, are under debug folder 
so i'll create a zip folder here and then going back i can see the zip folder here sorry select open and here you can uh, select type so azure web job can be continuous or triggered uh, continuous means you this job once you uh, configure this job this job continuously running but if you want to run this job in the scheduled time period like let's say every minute or every five minute then use the triggered option in that once you select the trigger uh, either you can uh, schedule it on a regular frequency basis like every one minute or 10 minute or five minute whatever the frequency that you would like or if you can, if you want to schedule it manual you can uh, also configure manual so once uh, you configure as manual uh, you have to manually trigger this job in order to execute it for the time being uh, i'll select scheduled and if you select the scheduled uh, you need to uh, enter the con ex cron expression so i entered this cron expression to run it in every minute now the web job is being added now you can see uh, the web job is being added if i wanted to see the logs click on the log here you can see uh, our web job and you can see the web job is running i guess i set up to run it in every second instead of a minute that's why in every second uh, this job gets scheduled so if i go and see the logs i can see my uh, log that i write as a console dot write line here so this demonstrate that your job is running as a your console application is running as a background process based on the schedule frequency so you just need to set up the right cron uh, expression here uh, based on uh, whatever the frequency that you would like to schedule your uh, web job. I think I accidentally set up to run it in every second instead of every minute. That's why you can see in every second a new instance of the job gets scheduled. I hope you like this video. This gives you a good understanding of how you can create a console application and run it as a background process using the Azure Web Job. If you like this video, please hit the like button, comment and subscribe to my channel.